Wu Jing's brilliant scheme might not be so brilliant after all. On the Blacklist Season 10 Episode 6, Wu Jing, in his quest to eliminate Raymond, freed a previous blacklister and hired her to help him locate the post office. In our review of the Blacklist Season 10 Episode 5, we predicted that the majority of what transpired would occur. Everything except Vesco's premature death wasn't a surprise. Wu Jing has a complex strategy for outing Raymond. It is more difficult than simply calling a meeting of criminals and informing them of what he believes he knows. He needs concrete proof to support his claims. He spent the entire hour attempting to locate the post office so he could obtain the plea agreement Raymond had with the U.S. authorities. Copies of the top-secret documents are only found inside the post office. He deserves praise for his commitment to the cause and for starting it in the first place. He did appear to experience overconfidence and blindness from handling the matter from an emotional standpoint, which are common when seeking retribution. He knew the post office is one of the most security FBI stations, but he was willing to breach in. He overlooked the clear warning flags regarding Vesco in his overzealous desire to expose Raymond. Vesco believed he was adept at deceiving others, but anyone who paid close attention to his body language could see that he was actually snooping. Even before he saw Wu Jing for the first time, we had our doubts about where his loyalties lie. One could tell he was fishing by the way he raised his eyebrows whenever a new piece of information was uttered or by the way he phrased his questions. Robert was a good fit for Wu Jing's search for a yes man, but Wu Jing was unable to perceive that. He made use of one of the most cunning blacklisters ever. Dr. Perillo's was making a new start in prison by aiding women with persistent pain. If she hadn't been rescued, she might have turned into a respectable citizen due to how invested she had grown in her work. Doing the task she began with Dembe was something she had always envisioned herself doing. Dr. Perillo stands out among the many horrible persons that have been on the blacklist. She excavates the emotional backlog and produces something to torture you over. Dembe's record of dubious professional decisions is the problem. Because of how Laverne Cox portrays her, she is even scarier. Being sure to capitalize each word and sentence as though it were the most significant phrase ever said. It seemed hurried when Dr. Perillo's ended. It's possible that this is due to Wu Jing's actions or the intended course that the plot should take. One would have expected him to maintain as many people on the blacklist as possible on speed dial. He appears to have a tendency for making stupid decisions, albeit it felt like this one. It will bite him later if he kills Vesco and Dr. Porillos. Everyone who has helped him escape from prison and engaged with him passing away is not a good look. He might also be overestimating how others will respond. If Vesco is any indication, some people may adore or fear Raymond too much to even think about opposing him. Other people might have been in a better situation and appreciated what Raymond done. He will be able to recruit soldiers, but the number won't be as large as he would like. The pals of Raymond, an elderly guy, begin passing away all around him. It has an effect on men. Vesco is the friend who is closest in age to him, so Vesco's passing must have been particularly difficult for him. His daily struggle to survive had been hinted at previously, and the most recent death only served to confirm this. Sia was searching elsewhere for something. Uncertain of what she was seeking, this fascination with her deceased mother cannot be beneficial. The past should occasionally be left alone since you might not like what you discover. She would speak to those who knew her and not look in the records if she wanted to learn who her mother was. Documents cannot reveal much about a person's past. Most likely what they did, but not the tiny things that define them as individuals. For instance, more than anything she had studied over the previous couple of nights, her little conversation with Wrestler helped her to see things clearly. A much superior episode was Dr. Lakin Perillo's Part 2. Even though Dembe was in pain, it was nevertheless pleasant to see him because he had been missing for some time. The finest part of it was how much screen time Wu Jing received. We gained additional knowledge about his strategy and personal attributes. That contained his virtues and deficiencies. The invasion of the post office, data extraction, decryption, and the fallout now follow. Do you think he'll be able to get into the post office? Will Raymond ever feel afraid? 
In the comments box, please share your opinions. I hope the video was entertaining. Flip the channel's bell icon to the subscribe position to see more of them. Leave a like as well to support the channel. Thank you for your consideration and time.